In a small significant ceremony yesterday, the Yalu people witnessed the launching of a new timber mill, which will benefit more than 2,000 local people. Governor Kelly Naru was joined by representatives from the Sino Andean PNG Company to launch the project. The Ariwawong timber mill is one of the biggest projects so far in Morobe, which will harvest trees from over 300,000 hectares of forest along the Sarawagat range. Ariwawong is clan that makes up the village. And Benson Nablu, a retired public servant, is the man behind the project, which will allow local clans to take ownership of the project. This means revenue generated will be divided among the respective families and clan members. I really encourage our Papua New Guinean. If you retired like me and you had an opportunity, and if you have some asset that needs to develop, spend time in the village. Learn from our people, learn from the past mistakes, and learn from it. And let's put something together so can, we can all move forward and help, the, help our country develop. Late last year, another Yalu land group, the Mopong landowners, reclaimed their old plantation land from the government. They are proposing for a new industrial park to be built to alleviate the expansion of business activities from Lay City. What the Yalu villagers are doing is mobilizing their resources in preparation of the development of the industrial hub of Papua New Guinea. It's nothing like uh, uh, the government or people from the top dictating them uh, uh, down to them what uh, they want to do, but uh, it's the other way around, where the people are congregating and organizing themselves and uh, cooperating uh, with each other and the government and the investors to basically drive development agendas at their level. Governor Kelly Naru also agreed and supported the initiative. However, he challenged the developer and locals to preserve and sustain the forest by planting new trees. Sylvester Gawi, National MTV News, Lay.